right guys, what's good? All right, so today I'm gonna be talking about my first memory that I can remember of my first OCD ritual. So this was back in elementary school. I think I was in third grade. And I remember I used to do this thing, this certain ritual, right? And look, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like, what it looked like. <laughs> so you know, you usually hear people about touching doorknobs, washing their hands constantly. This one was the one I did. I would go, hands up. Then I would jump. <laughs> I don't know, hands up, go, crack my fingers, touch my eyelids, touch my knees, come down and jump. I think it was something like that. I remember I would jump, crack my ears, or crack my fingers and stuff like that. I don't know, I think the knee touching, uh, that might be different, but I don't know. But, yeah, that was my first ritual that I can remember. And, you know, that's not subtle at all, right? It's not like, you know, you just touch a doorknob. No, that's your whole body, you stop and start doing that. And, you know, I guess like when you're in elementary school though, people don't, real, don't, people don't think anything of it. And the first time I realized that it was something different, was actually on the was when I got picked up by my dad and my sister because then they started because I was doing that constantly on the way back to the car I think I did it I think I did it like three times just walking from the classroom to the car and they started they started doing it too and I think they thought I was joking around and they started doing this and they did they were doing it too and then I was like I started thinking is that different is that weird is that what people don't do so then because then for me like I didn't know it was different yet. So then that was the first memory I have of, you know, an OCD ritual. But it didn't bug me too much. I was just like, oh, it's different. So third grade, elementary school, I had that huge ritual. And then, you know, it was weird. It kind of went on and off. And I don't remember after that, it's kind of like blank. And then I felt like the OCD disappeared up until middle school. Right, and then you notice that it comes out in times of when you're stressed out or something. So something that I need to try and do is I need to, if I find myself in a stressful situation, I need to like find ways to stay calm. So something that I do sometimes, like actually my phone stresses me out. Uh, constantly checking things, constantly having like go on Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or whatever. So, so that's a habit I have just checking it. So, and I noticed that that actually stresses me out because I feel like I have stuff to check. So sometimes I need to actually tell myself I'm not going to look at my phone right now. And what actually sometimes helps is, you know, leaving my phone in my gym bag and only taking it out if I need to record something. Because if I constantly check it, then I start getting stressed out. Like just me having to check something gets me stressed out and will trigger OCD or anxiety or whatever it may be. So that was my first ritual. Boom, 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 boom. The jumping ritual. And yeah, I'll start telling you guys more about it as the weeks go on. Catch y'all on the flip side.